George Shape Photo and Video, all we do is wedding photography and wedding videography. Our goal is to deliver amazing photography and videography to each one of our clients and have the experience be something they'll remember for a lifetime. We're backing up people's memories. Hugely important to us. We cannot afford to lose them. We really have a, a, a tiered approach to that. Day-to-day -day work is all stored on site on our 32 terabyte data rate drive. There is a differential nightly backup of this to an off-site location through our VPN tunnel. Once the weddings are complete, we export that to long-term storage, LTS, in a secure safe at one of our off-site locations. If there was ever a disaster, we could be up and running at our remote location within a matter of hours and maintain production. When we first started, we basically worked out of this little tiny apartment on George Street. Our office was 100 square feet. It was pretty small. Eventually, we moved to a 1,000 square foot studio, and then in two years, we had in this little tiny place like 13 or 14 people working there. And then on top of that, client meetings and we work with our photographers and videographers there. We had no central storage system for our files. It was very frustrating for our editors. They would have to kind of just wait on the technology in order to do their job. Uh, and it really put us in a time crunch for getting jobs done. I mean like close to 40 external hard drives and we had a spreadsheet keeping track of which weddings were on it, where the hard drive was located. So we said, there's no way for us to handle more weddings unless we upgrade our infrastructure. Last year, we had 1,450 photos per wedding. As we've increased those sales of second photographers, we're seeing a lot of events that are 2,000 images, maybe even 3,000 images. Last year, we processed over a million photos in a very short amount of time. How can we use technology to make us more efficient at what we're doing? Not only to lower our costs, but utilizing technology also helps us have a better experience for our clients. We looked at our turnaround time from when our photographers are giving us images from the weddings to the time that we optimize all the photos and then deliver them to the clients. So we said, let's get this turnaround quicker. Instead of three to four weeks, let's do two to three weeks. We'd increase the speed of how files are sent to us, how they're delivered to us, how we import those into our systems, and then how we send those to our clients. It was a pretty significant investment, but we anticipated in about a year and a half to two years, we'd start seeing a return on investment, and that's proven true. Virtualization has really allowed us to ramp up services and management. We don't have the space to house multiple servers in a server farm, nor do we have the manpower to manage them. So what we have are virtual images on one host computer. We're really saving space, time, and money on our virtualization. We've saved money in how efficient we are so we can devote more money and in that time to being able to put the creativity back into the images. My advice to companies in similar situations, centralize your data, be organized. You could be the best mechanic in the world, but if you can't find your tools because it's a big mess, you're not gonna be a very good mechanic. And it's really important that you have the speed to be able to utilize that data. This uh, data rate is connected to the Mac server through fiber, which really speeds things up. Also, it's really important to keep up with technology. If you're not aware of all the different progress that's going on, you're not gonna be able to keep up with the times. A business that is faced with some of our same IT challenges really needs to focus on making sure that their storage can grow with them. You also should have the network structure to really making sure you're running at gigabit speeds. Our clients, you know, they're trusting us to be at one of their most important days to be responsible for capturing the memories that they're gonna have and that they're gonna pass on for generations. It's a huge responsibility.